welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be very quick because i don't have time i put up a message on snapchat saying can you request a video i only have one hour i'm going to get ready film this video and go out because i have a lot of things to do today and then during the week and blah 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 i'm just rambling but i did request for you guys to send me messages on snapchat if you're not following me you should start following me now so you can be requesting your videos anyways i got this message and it said um please can you do a video on how to keep strong in life challenges as an adult you seem like a very positive person so such a video from you would be great thank you very much i know i seem like such a positive person but sometimes you just need to you know put yourself in a positive mood like my yellow <laughs> my yellow ribbon my yellow earrings these are actually things that I actively do to keep myself positive i'm not positive all the time if you come to my house you probably be thinking see me you have hot blood your blood is too hot why you i have a temper i get frustrated sometimes when things are not going my way as you do sometimes so my life is not sweet my life is not easy and i go through the same challenges that everyone does but today i'm just going to be sharing with you the things i do that make it easy for me to cope so let's talk about it the first thing i try to do is take a step back and try to look at the big picture like in the grand scheme of things how important is this thing that's frustrating my life if i say it's very important i try to go through it with less pain as possible because sometimes you cannot eliminate the bad feelings, you cannot eliminate the frustration and everything. You just need to find a way to cope. And that's what being an adult is all about. Going through difficult times, but just holding it in, you know, just holding it in. There's this, um, um, an example is like, you know, like a duck. When you see a duck on the water, it looks like it's just gliding through. But if you look underneath the water, the legs are furiously tapping. That's what I always try to remember. Like, just keep calm and adult. The next thing I try to do, or something, it's just subconscious. It just comes to me sometimes. And then it is something, I don't know how to explain this. I don't know if, how many of you know of Orikis. You know those names that they call you. Your grandparents call you. If you if you are Yoruba, then you probably know this. My grandmother used to sing my Oriki and our family Oriki, basically. But anytime I remember how she says it, it just makes me feel like a warrior, like I have the strength, I can do this, you ever see, you can do this, this situation is not bigger than you. That's what the Oriki, my grandmother says, does to me. If I can call her, I will try and call her and get her to say it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that I always try to remember my Oriki and the, another way you can do that if you don't have Oriki is just remember positive things, read positive books, positive quotes, surround yourself with positive people. What you feed yourself is what affects you. So I try to keep myself in a positive space as much as possible. Another thing I do is to always pray. I know that should have been the first thing to do but realistically i would have finished running around like a headless chicken when i'm experiencing stress in my life before now being like oh yeah let me pray and the truth is anytime i pray i just feel like i'm giving my problems to a bigger person somebody that can deal with it better than i can so i'm always like oh, i feel relieved and i always try to remember that god has a better plan for me than anything that's happening that in all of this craziness god's plan for me is always awesome I remember I went to church last week and if you watch my vlogs you would have seen some of the preaching that the pastor spoke about and that kind of remember, reminded me I mean of the kind of things I think about when I'm going through stress and it is just remembering God's love you know whenever you remember that you are in God's love you just it's comforting in stress when you think about it it keeps you calm it helps you go through everything knowing that there's someone looking out for you someone that has your best plans someone that loves you regardless of any situation another way i cope with stress is try to think of somebody i can help or something good i can do you know when you do something good for somebody it just makes you forget about your own pain yeah that's what i try to do sometimes give money to beggars you know pay your tithes just do all the nice things help somebody to lay the bed <laughs> 
just try to be extra extra nice or just try to solve someone's problem i'm even going through stress right now sometimes i think i put on snapchat three days ago that i'm having like a cuckoo kill me moment you know a cuckoo kill me moment where you're stressed out so i do get stressed out i find that sometimes the way to help myself is to help somebody else adulting can be very hard i know all about it man doing it for for a bit and it is not easy but these are tips that i want to share with you if you're going through stress though it will help you definitely always think about the bigger picture don't do anything temporary when you're going through stress don't do, don't do anything permanent i mean when you're going through stress you know because you can make stupid decision when you're stressed out don't do that always think about the bigger picture Surround yourself with positive things, positive words, positive quotes, you know, positive people and all of that. And always pray because prayer solves a lot of the problems that we face these days. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was really short and sweet. Um, just for you to know, Sister Weekly will not be up on Monday or Tuesday. It's going to be up on Thursday. So <laughs> please bear with me. This coming week is going to be very busy for me. So I just wanted to check that in there. Anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.